Hey, what's up, my friends? Welcome to another episode of Behind the Scene. In case this is your first time watching this series, uh, Behind the Scene is a series of short videos of me interviewing or bugging the players in the orchestra about their instruments with specific questions like how to write idiomatically, um, what's difficult to play, and how to notate certain things appropriately. As a media composer, I believe our goal is to have a successful first take at the recording session or sequence as realistic as possible, right? This episode is about articulations that applies to all woodwinds. My clarinet friend James is also a pianist, so we discuss the issues from a pianist's perspective, which might be helpful for you if you compose mainly on a piano. All right, let's start rolling. All right. Okay, so I have the Mozart clarinet concerto. Yeah, as, uh, I love it. I played it. Well, I don't know where my clarinet music went, so I'm just looking at the piano score with the little clarinet bit at the top. Yeah. But this is written in C major so that the piano player can follow along, but the yes. original music for the clarinet is in a different key. Right. But the articulations and the compositions should be the same. Okay. So on the clarinet, um, articulation and slurring works a little differently than a piano does because by default, by default, if there's nothing written on a note, you have to tongue everything, separate them, mm -hmm. not like a staccato, like detach them, but yeah. they should be distinctively different. Right? It, it would sound like it's re replayed, like re-articulated. Like, yeah. yeah, so for yeah. example, if I'm repeating on a C, yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's five okay. Seas. Yeah. And if I'm going up the C with without a slur, uh -huh. you have to tongue each note. Right. And when you see a slur, then you don't tongue it. Just the very first tone. Right. right. Okay. And then when you have actual staccato, well then yeah, you staccato them. Okay, then you decide where you breathe. Breathing, for when it's written right, it has, it just works out perfectly. Like How is it written? Example, like, oh, like a rest. There's a rest there. Okay. And then this is not a good place to breathe, though, um, because it's a phrase that keeps every D, da, D, da, D. And yes. if you breathe there, it cuts off the flow. Okay. But so, there's uh -huh. a place there. Yeah. Well, usually, if, if there isn't. There's a very nice spot to breathe. Well, for example, here, there's a spot where you breathe before this long stretch of notes. Okay, so you make those decisions by yourself. The the composer, they don't have to write it down for you. A compo well, I mean, if you don't add any rests anywhere, then that's kind of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, of course. Consider, uh, uh, of course, yes, yes. Okay. But generally, and also if you just have 16 notes going everywhere, then... Uh, then the player makes a decision that of oh, which one of these is not as important and then they don't play that 16th note and take a breath instead right but uh, usually if there isn't an obvious place for you to breathe then you can breathe after a long note like a half note or a dotted half note or whatever yeah because you can always taper it just a little bit sooner and then take a breath before going into the next phrase right Um, and then when you have staccatos and there's slurs, then you don't do uh, really obvious. It's a very soft tongue, like rather than ah, uh, okay. So then you know how, like, when you play piano, it's like a boom, 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 rather than yes, like, it's like portato. Yeah, like yeah. in the middle. Yeah, so. so you it's the same thing. Uh, sorry, and how, how do you do it on clarinet? Uh, by tonguing very, very lightly. Okay, so there are, it's, it's a different technique of tonguing. So, so there, yeah. are di there are tonguing techniques. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, all articulation is tonguing. Okay. All articulation, accents. Um, well, that's a little bit of... Oh, they are all how... Oh, wow. Uh, okay. slurs. They're all tonguing. Wow. Okay. Well, that's helpful. Thank because you. like a violin, mm -hmm. 
In a rain of fire. Oh no, it's a little bit different. Well, in is is like you you, you bow you yeah, yeah you bow, bow in a yeah. single direction for a slur and then for a different yeah right yeah but yeah and then because like on a piano if you were playing this you wouldn't necessarily you would have the pedal down yeah and then you wouldn't necessarily detach right right uh, even uh, though there isn't a slur on top of it right right yeah you don't like. Um, I wouldn't play this legato though. I think I think legato. I, I mean, yeah. That's aside a, from that's articulation, a bad example. That's yeah. A bad, oh, okay, so it's like it's oh, more oh, of a then, yeah. This then you would okay. continue this one da 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 di 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 di, but you wouldn't go bop 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 bop. Mm. Yeah, okay. What what are we trying to say? This is the this is the string part. You think that, 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 that's that's a string that's a string part. Yeah. So I think they they bow each note. Yeah. T T Yeah. But unless yeah. But this one would be the da da da. Yeah. Yeah. No, but if it wasn't. Uh huh. So consider this is not as an orchestra reduction, but if this was written for a piano. Yeah. And you had like if this slur didn't exist, you pretty much it's like the same thing. Yes, so I, I repeat it. I repeat this note. Yeah. Is that, is that what you're saying? But yeah, but okay. Legato. No, what I'm saying is like on a on a on a string instrument that has to be played in a single direction of the yes. bow, and yes. they are different directions. Like in in clarinet too, that needs to be given the directions, and by default, if you don't have a slur, everything is tongue. Ah, okay. And on a, like. On a piano, like when I played that thing earlier, mm. it didn't have any slurs or anything written on it, but I played with the pedal anyway so that the sound is. Yeah, 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 I get it. Okay, I get but it. But unless the direction is given for a clarinet, by default, that's all going to be separated. By so, default? Yeah, by default. By default. So if there's no slur, then you'd be okay. But this would be like yeah. in one, yeah. Okay. 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 I got it. Um. Sure. That's helpful. And ledger lines is not an issue, whether it's written in ledger lines or not. It's not an issue. No. I think it's better to use ledger lines. Why? Because it's really obvious where they are. Are they are they connected? Like, do do ledger lines indicate fingerings or uh, what no. buttons you know? No, but it's. I think it's one extra thing to. I don't know. If Pianists I... don't like ledger lines. It, I, I'd be like really annoyed if oh, I have really? to like count the ledger lines. No, I don't like it. I oh, think wind players in general. I they... just know the ledger lines. Yes, because we played a lot, right? But but if if like it's it's it, like if there's ten ledger lines, would I see? But if you let's say you're sight reading something and then you weren't careful, you can miss the APA. And then let's say you're continuing a line. Let's say you're playing a C major scale, going up, and then in an eight D A, and then go down. Then you can go rather than why would they miss it? Well, it's it's a possibility, right? Okay. If, yeah, if I think it's a preference. If you're literally if just just like notes are going on the ledger line. Yeah. Then you actually see the whole thing is rising, but even if you had the APA, then just by I looking see. at it, it's done, done rather than visually, down. it gives you a direction. I mean, obviously, that's just everybody's different preference. I think so. Okay, so I don't really. This doesn't matter. No, but I don't think I've seen many music that goes like like even if they're even when they're playing really low notes, they wouldn't use octave signs. They just do it that yeah i mean because they can't they, they don't want to go too low i mean for clarinet they, it, well you it, can't go too low you, you can only go down to the e but if it keeps on jumping octave down octave up octave down octave that's more annoying to read than just blah, 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 blah. 
Okay, well, I don't know. I, I guess this is why well, the, the reason I'm talking about ledger lines is I think this is why we have clef signs. Uh, we only have the treble clef, see? And so like this here to da, da, dum, blah, 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 to use the ledger lines if, rather than an octave. They could have just used it as octave and like an F or whatever. Okay, yes. well, this is not crazy, but if but that's I have like more than goes, five. Right? Okay. That's fine, I get the point. I get the point. Like that too. Boop, boom, boom, boom. Okay. I get it. I don't know. I just don't like that. I, don't like <laughs> it. I, I like the 8VA. And also, mm -hmm. because you don't really... I mean, the kind of can go up to like... Uh, G and A in the ledger lines above the treble clef, it's possible, but you don't really go there. G is not, it, G is often, not often, but G is used commonly. G, concert G? Clarinet no, G. Clarinet so G. that would be an F. F. Yeah. Yeah, F uh, three ledger lines up. That's, that's. Uh, that would sound yeah, piercing. No, that's commonly used. Is though, it? That the G is fine. But it can go higher than that, but you wouldn't really have that in classical music. You would have that in like modern new music. But like as far as classical music is concerned, you mostly often play like up to E, E flat, F maybe, not even a G. Well, Mozart, G. Mozart's clarinet is built differently, I think. The, it, yes, yeah. that's, t that's true too. So like this doesn't go, this doesn't really go higher than the clarinet E, uh, well, piano in this case, piano E which is like piano E flat, which is uh, F on the clarinet, which it, is... Okay, is this piece originally in A? Yeah. I played this thousand times for people, and I was told that, you know, some of them, they just play it on a, on an A clarinet. Yeah, no, don't do that. No? Don't do that. Oh, come on, I, 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 I played for someone's audition for that. They played audition for masters. Mm -hmm. Why? It's way easier. <laughs> I mean, yeah, some people have A clarinets. A lot of people have A clarinets. Yeah. Because it's in, a different in, sound. In orchestra, you have to switch out a lot. Like even when I was in orchestra, I had a B flat and an A, because like the Tchaikovsky would have something written in B flat for a certain amount of same piece, right? Mm -hmm. Same movement. Yeah. Certain sections of it is in B flat, certain sections of it in A. Yeah. If you're really good at transposing, you can just use the B flat for the whole thing. But if you're not good at that, then you just, you know, take it down. You have it all set up like this, and then just take your barrel off, and then put it on the A clarinet, play it, put it back Oh, that, oh, up, I see, okay. And put it back in B, and then play the B flat. Okay, how, how, how long does it take? So if you have to switch. If I had another clarinet, like, yeah, you know, probably need a couple bars, or you have to coordinate with another. These are person also, these said. are also written in the music. They are supposed to, right? Yeah. Yeah. So like, no, like the composer takes account of like you know how some music, some of the newer music when you're playing the piano part, it has it usually has some rests at the end so that you can turn a page easily. Like yeah. all of these have a rest at the end so you can turn a page. Except for that. But most of them have that, right? So the composer has to account for a possible change, like a few measures at least. Like a measure at least. Then it's up to the player to coordinate that or be really quick. But if there's like no room whatsoever and you have only one player, then they have to make a decision to, hmm, what am I going to do? I see. Okay, this is helpful. Some of these, some of these things, the composers actually have to take account. Mm. Yeah, of course. Because it's a physical. It's not a musical thing. It's a physical change. Exactly. Like yeah. when you've played in percussion pit before. Yeah. So if you have to play something here, yeah, we, and then you've got something over there that you have to play. We have to juggle. Yeah, yeah. yeah so and you can't just. Yeah. You have to like I've seen in one, in in um. Percussion concerto. I've had a guy wear a roller coaster, uh, uh, roller, <laughs> roller skates, roller skates, because they had to move from playing over here to over there. But it wasn't like auxiliary percussion, right? They're all yeah. um, marimbas, and they had to just... right roller blades. Yeah, yeah. I I I've once. 
done that too. So like I had to hang the triangle somewhere above the yeah. Glock. Yeah. So some I, of yeah, things that yeah. you have to, you just have to be creative about it. But some things yeah. just uh, has to be part of the. Music. Right, right. It would be nice to. Okay. Yeah. Most people will have B flat and A. True. Yeah. Very few people will have a C. The piccolo. Oh, oh no, no 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 C is yeah C is C not there. C clarinet I get it yeah. But it does exist. There's one. There's an E flat clarinet. It's a separate thing. Yeah. You don't switch between an E flat. You just play the E flat. Um, but B flat and A. You don't switch. What do you mean? You, you like just E flat play. is its own part. Oh okay. So you you don't you don't just take that thing out and and switch. No, no, no. It's, it's okay. A physically much smaller clarinet. It, is that the piccolo piccolo clarinet? So. Yeah, the, the the tiny one, right? Yeah, and you just pick it up and and, and play, yeah, right? You just put okay. Piccolo clarinet. I don't know if it is. There right. might be an actual piccolo. It clarinet. sounds it sounds yes, thrilling. Yeah. yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. Yeah. But smaller, so an E flat clarinet. If a part, if the music calls for a part, will have an actual player who plays the E flat clarinet. Okay. Okay. But many people will have B flat and A. I think it, in order to be in orchestra, you're required to have one. Right. That's why the school had extra A clarinets for the members who are in the orchestra to use. Yeah, they have a bass too. Yes. Well, that was super cool. Yes, bass. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So these are my questions about clarinets. What are your questions? Let me know in the comments below. Our next episode will be about the other members of the clarinet family. Subscribe if you'd like to see and talk to them. Thanks for watching.